Corn or Leopards for lunch today is pizza, sloppy joe, and chicken filet. Happy birthday to Jacqueline Corral and Eleni Rodriguez. Shout out. Shout out to Shamaya Owens for keeping our cafeteria clean after breakfast and protecting our breaks. On Friday the 13th, Lakewood will host Midway for the Friday Night Football. We are looking for student volunteers that would like to dress up as Leo the Leopard. We need up to four very energetic students to be Leo each quarter. In addition, because it's Friday the 13th, we need a student that will dress up as Jason to interact with Leo during the game. If you are interested, you need to see Coach Holt or Miss Millum if you want to be Jason at the game. Please see Miss Millum for help with your dress. Don't forget this is a blackout game. Seniors, there are 22 seniors that have not gotten the required 12th grade shot. This must be completed with form turned into the office by September 19th. If not completed by the 19th, you will not be able to attend school until it is done unless you have a medical or religious exemption. If you have an exemption, that form must be turned into the office by September 19th or you will not be able to attend school. Senior Parent Night will be held on Monday, September 23rd at 6 p.m. Tickets for door prizes will be available until 6 p.m., so please arrive on time to receive a chance to win. There will be tons of info that you and your parents need to know about senior year, including graduation, information, college and career info, senior fees, scholarships, and FAFSA. PBIS and FBLA will be hosting a homecoming dance on Saturday, October 5th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Lakewood Country Club Clubhouse. This will be a formal event, so dress to impress. This event will be for LHS students only. Tickets will be on sale during lunches from September 16th to October 3rd. Tickets will also be sold at the door the night of the event, but we highly encourage all students to purchase tickets in advance. Tickets are $20 per person or $30 for couples. Hope to see you all there. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hall or Coach Powell. Mr. Powell. <laughs> the Navy ROTC scholarship briefing for juniors and seniors is this Thursday, September 12th during first and second blocks. There is a Google form to register for the briefing we would like completed by end of the day, Wednesday. See JROTC for details. Willa Ingram, Roseboro SCC career coach, would like to welcome back returning and new CCP students. Registration is approaching for spring and summer 2025 classes. Registration will begin during the months of October and November. Please stop by to see Ms. Bowen in the guidance room 109 to sign up. Tuesday, September 17th, all seniors will have a brief meeting with Ms. Bowen. After the meeting, you'll take the Class of 25 picture on the football field. Please wear a black shirt so we'll look cohesive. And all seniors, Senior Sunrise is September 13th at 6.30 located on the football field. Come support your Lady Leopards tonight as they play Union. JV starts at 4.30 and Varsity starts at 6. The theme is USA, so wear your red, white, and blue. Come support. <laughs> Today's challenge of the day is a three-point contest, and Zay, Trayvon, and Nigel are going to go against each other to see who has the least amount of time. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh. I'm going to talk y'all through this because this is going to be... Ooh! He got one! He got one! Oh! We're going to have to speed these up in two times. That's two! Okay! Last one. Uh, look at his time, y'all. Okay. This boy got 26.23. Okay, I'm here with Nigel, and he's going to go second. This is Zay's time, and let's see if he'll beat that. Okay, Nigel's about to start now. One, two, three. This is going to be long because Nigel can't shoot. Okay, that's one. Oh, I'm gonna just yap to y'all. <laughs> hey, it's at 20. Okay, one more. Okay. Okay, so now Trayvon's gonna go last, and we're gonna see if he could beat 
Zay because Zay has the best time right now. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Okay. He got one. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm going to just yap to y'all because looks like he's not making it no time soon. All right, as you can see, I'm here. It's the end of the game. Lakewood beat uh, Camp Lejeune 43-28. to 28. Shout out to the Leopards. We started off a little slow, but we got it. We got it together, man. As you can see, uh, Camp Lejeune and Lakewood, they just prayed together. This is the kind of sportsmanship that Lakewood needs uh, and that we need to do a better job at. I'm here with two linebackers, Deshaun Carr and Nakai Owens. Both of these boys had a pick tonight. So I want to ask you, Deshaun, what kind of, what do you use to motivate you to change the momentum? Because that's what you did on defense tonight. Oh, uh, well, honestly, it was our quarterback that didn't get to play tonight who uh, motivated me to uh, do my best, come out here and play hard. Okay, okay, okay. And Nakai, I have a question for you because you know you had a pick near the end of the game that sealed the fate for the Devil Pups. So my question for you is, why do you think Lakewood got off to such a, such a slow start tonight? Uh, probably that long drive. Every time we have a long drive, we kind of start slow, but it's all about the finish. Okay, okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all played amazing tonight. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Zay and Jay show. What do you have to say to the people at home? I already interviewed Nakai and Deshaun. So what do you got to say? How are you feeling about the game? What do you think y'all can do better on? And what do y'all think y'all did good at? Well, obviously, I think we can do better on everything. You know, hustling, discipline, and all that. But the way I feel, I mean, it was a good game. It was fun. Well-disciplined teams, you feel me? And, you know, we just bought out. Both teams bought out. So. Oh, yeah! All right, thank you, Josiah Brasset! Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Kaya, and I'm back with another interview on the Zay and Jay show. Today, I got my girls, my teammates, Amaya and Fancy. Y'all say what's up? What's up? Hey, guys. So, I want to ask these ladies a few questions <clears throat> based on um, tonight's game and how they will perform. So, Amaya, how do you prepare mentally before a game? I try to tone out all the negativity, and I need me a good Mountain Dew and a good meal before the game. Fancy? I'd say I prepare mentally by just thinking positive thoughts and not overestimating or underestimating the other team because you never really know what they can do. That's true. That's true. What are you guys' strengths and weaknesses, and what are some ways that you can better yourself? One of my strengths is that I'm really positive. I try not to let the little things get to me. And one of my weaknesses is that I get too excited sometimes. I might make a bad pass. So, yeah. How can you better yourself? Um, just listen to my coach and, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, one of my strengths is I'd say I cover the court pretty well, or I try my best to. And uh, a weakness I have is I let the little stuff get to me, like she said. Uh, and I'd say I can just better myself by being at practice and just practicing the best I can to get better and also practicing at home. I want to thank you, ladies, for answering these questions for us. Please tune in to tonight's game, Varsity at 6, JV at 430. We playing Union. We lit. Hey. Thanks for watching.